Well, hello folks. This is another hiking video. I've actually found a hiking location in the Green Bay area. Well, I've known about it, but I thought it was too close to the highway. It is close, but reports are it isn't too loud, so I thought I'd come here and check it out. Um, I'll put the name of it, obviously, on the title of the video. I can't remember what the name is now, otherwise I'll butcher it. Uh, I will be doing a ministry video first. Uh, here's the trail right here. Okay, this is a park in East Green Bay, about two blocks off of um, East Mason. Okay, kind of where, between, I would say between Baird's Creek. This trail actually hits Baird's Creek, okay. Uh, this is a park. Again, the name of the park will be on, on the title of the video. There is probably a name for the trail. We can get the name here, I think. I'm gonna actually walk around the park, see if there's other trail entrances. So this park is trail, this trail is called Hickory Trickery, okay? Um, one of my subscribers did a video here of biking and it looked really, really nice. And then uh, the lady who does hiking on Facebook and does pictures she did a, a pictures of this place recently and I'm like well I don't know if I want to go there it looks too close to the highway I thought it'd be too loud and she said no it's not too bad so all right so we've got some more trails here so we're gonna check it out it's a park it's kind of across um, from the business or what do they call it a business district where you know people do uh, small factories and things like that I forget what they call those so yeah it looks like they have all kinds of little trails going in here I'm just taking a look at the land before I start my ministry video. This is not a ministry video. This will just be the beginning, hopefully, of a hiking video. <clears throat> uh, and then once I'm done with my ministry video, uh, I'll do a hiking video on the way back. It may be a little deeper in before I come back. We'll see. I do have, it's like 9.30. I have till noon to be home, so. I should have a good amount of time and yeah here's another entrance so this is probably one of those you know Baird's Creek is famous for lots of side trails we'll go ahead and walk around the edge of the park see if we see anything interesting it's Saturday again about 9 30 um, it's I think it's 70 71 something like that at 10 it was supposed to be 74 I don't know what the high will be today it is it's actually mostly sunny but it was projected when I looked yesterday to be uh, mostly cloudy partly cloudy and then possible thunderstorms and rain later today so I'm out a little earlier than normal Got a baseball diamond here. I'm gonna try to pronounce the name, but I'll probably butcher it. I think it's called the Krista McCaffliff Park. This is actually not very far from what I would call the extended Baird Creek Trails, which I've mentioned. I actually, again, I knew, oh look, there's some trails here. I knew of this trail, but I didn't mention it in my, I may have mentioned, I can't remember now, I may have mentioned it in my ranking of all trails. I'm not sure. Because um, I've never been here, and I saw on the map it was close to the highway. But I think it's, half a mile or more away 
from the highway, maybe even three quarters of a mile away. I don't know. So that looks like a, a soccer goal. I don't know why they have that here. It looks like it's chained up. Well, maybe that's two of them. Now, I'm not going to follow that edge, so I'm going to go ahead and start my ministry video once I get up here. Uh, we'll turn this off, and once again, hopefully we'll have some more hiking video when I'm, when I'm done with my ministry video. So we will be back, hopefully. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, I'm back to the hiking video. I'm here in the middle of a trail beautiful location I ended uh, my ministry video at starting here well it's not the beginning of the hiking video but we're in the trails now this is Baird's Creek I will hike a little bit this way before I turn around and go back this is back and as expected like most of the Baird Creek places I've been to there are side trails lots of side trails here it will take several uh, hiking trips out here to hit them all. Uh, there are a lot of rooted trails, so it's not best for uh, video recording because you have to be careful where you're watching, but it's doable. I've been up and down a few hills, nothing extreme. It's doable by me. I'm definitely able to handle them. It's lovely. I mean, look at this. This is just lovely location. I think I hear traffic in the background, especially by the park, but nothing um, too heavy. Oh, that's a lovely spot there. I'm always on the lookout for a place to sit and do ministry videos. There's one. There's one. That's really, really nice. Now, this might be popular. I might see hikers on this trail here, but that's off trail. That's a really nice location. So let's do a little bit of hiking. And show off this trail so one more look at this uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this is like number 19 19 places to hike in the Green Bay area that I would recommend um, halfway through maybe three quarters through how would I put this on my list I put in the top third definitely put this in the top third I'm gonna get a quick drink folks I'll be right back all right I'm back let's just go ahead and do a spin here it's just really lovely this is East Green Bay area uh, I gave you at the beginning of the video what I thought the name of the place is but the name of the video will tell you and if you're in Green Bay area this is a place I recommend for hiking. Lovely location. Lovely. My wife didn't come with me today. She would love this place. You can see, easy to trip if you're doing videos. <laughs> you have to pay attention while you're hiking here. Uh, I've seen a group of three ladies when I first started my ministry video when I got in and this older lady walking through I've seen her twice now on her way in and on her way out let's just do another spin it's just so beautiful Wow see people behind me there's another trail over there so many side trails I'm 
I might not even take the same trail back. Yes, I'm wearing my new hiking shoes. They're really nice. I gotta see what time it is. Ten thirty. Oh, plenty of time. I can hike for another hour. This is definitely not a beginner's hike. All right, so they crossed over there. Do I want to do that with the camera? Sure, let's be bold. So we're gonna walk on this. I do have waterproof shoes, so I could test them. No need. The rocks held me up. <sighs> Which way do I want to go? up or this way i think i prefer staying in the woods today this looks deeper woods i kind of like deeper woods so we'll stay this way although well, the trees are quite young here you know some medium-sized ones, but most of them are young. By the way, there is another place to hike in Green Bay I forgot to list in my ranking video. However, would I recommend it? It's nice. But it's the park is pretty big, okay? This is the problem, before I name the place. The park is next to Oneida Tribe property. I saw one sign that said, if you're not an Oneida Tribe member, you cannot go in. One sign. Now, there could have been others. Maybe some fell down. Maybe, again, I've only been there twice. The problem is many trails lead into that tribal land without warning. I'm one who, who promotes following laws and not trespassing. I am not a tribe member. And so that limits me and I don't want to break any rules or trespassing. I'm not here to debate whether it's legal or not legal. I'm not going to go in there because I'm gonna obey the rules. Many do not. Those trails are heavily used by many. I'll put the name of the, I forget the name of the park. I'll put it on the screen now. It is near NWTC in Green Bay. I would say it's probably less than a mile of a trail that's literally in the park but it's nice and i've i've done 
two videos there, one city, sitting video and one uh, walking in the spirit video, ministry video. Again, this is not a ministry video, I'm just telling you about where I've been. So, it's a nice place. But I can't highly recommend it for hiking since there's limited hiking there. It would be near the bottom of my list. So that means 20 places to go that I would use. Okay. Now this is quite muddy. I do have hiking shoes and they are waterproof. I'm going to go. I'm going to the side though. Yeah, this is a bit muddy here. Now I listed in my ranking video, um, since I'm talking about it, I'll link to it on the screen. I'll try to remember to do that. Um, I listed like six, seven places that I had, couldn't recommend, uh, cause there wasn't much hiking there or for other reasons I wouldn't recommend it, but people can definitely go there, right? So there's lots of places to go and I'm still looking for more. If anybody has recommendations in the Green Bay area, obviously local towns, around Green Bay will have them. For example, I recently learned there's one in Seymour, which is really close to Green Bay. And yet, I don't put those on my lists, even though there might be like two Brown County forests that might be further from some of the surrounding towns. That's just the way I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm talking Green Bay hiking, and that's going to include Brown County hiking, but it won't include neighboring towns in the Green Bay area, except for like the suburbs of Green Bay, like De Pere, Alloway, or Schwabenon, okay? Howard. You're in traffic here. But that's not highway, that's just a local road. It's muggy. Um, I'm guessing it's about 74 now, because that's what they said. It feels hotter than that because of how muggy it is. And this is definitely muddy now, this last part after crossing that muddy stream there. I'll have to clean my boots. Somebody's house here? Or is that a bridge? And going up a st steep bank. I wonder if this just takes me to a road. I'm guessing it does. Let's go underneath first to see what we see here. Lots of mud. Lots of mud here. Oh, it's too thick. And yeah, that's a bridge. I'm in shorts. I'm not going to walk through that thick stuff. And why do I need to go up to the road? I don't. So, <laughs> I mean, I go up there to see where I am, but I, I'm not interested. I'm just going to stay on the trail and head back. I don't know why I'm afraid of walking in the mud and my hiking boots. Shouldn't be. I'm gonna need a drink soon. 
it's very very humid We'll be leaving, losing the leaves soon. Fall is here. Now I did hear someone say on the radio, look at that nice hollow log there, huh? Wonder if any critters live in there. That because it's been so wet this fall, the leaves might stay a little longer. They might have longer colors this year. Bugs are a little bad. I'm glad I sprayed. I didn't spray very heavy. Probably should have sprayed a little bit more. Go. It'll be drier after I get that past this. There's a frog. Well, now I'm going to go up. I'm sure that's the way those ladies went. Those are the ones I saw come in uh, when I first started in here. Somewhere nearby here, I think they uh, built a little bike park for tricks and things like that. Um, I could be mixing up. There might be one that's been here for a while, but I do know there's a new one in Green Bay. So I don't know if I'm mixing the two up or not. I've seen pictures of it. It's um, also the, the guy who subscribed. I think he did some of his video there. It's not amongst trees, it's more of a field area. So I don't know if we'll get to there. That's what I, what I said, go up. I thought that might be heading in that direction, but I don't know. Then I'm very pleasantly surprised. We're hearing some traffic, but not a lot. It's definitely very doable for me. I would definitely come back here again. I plan on coming back here again. It's very, very beautiful. This might even make my top five places. Just some, it bothers me I could have been here sooner because I knew about this place. But I scared myself away by seeing how close it was to the highway. It's not as close um, as I saw on the map, I guess. I see a lot of these side trails. That's a pretty big hill to climb. that the trail? Is this where we cross the water? Yep, yep. Okay, so we're going to take that trail.
Oh, okay, time for a drink. It's just really, really humid and warm. All right, I actually thought about, <laughs> I actually thought about not bringing a drink today. I'm glad I saw that it would be humid. I thought 74 isn't too hot. Um, I can go that way. That trail is smaller. This is more main, so I'm gonna take this. Now I have seen signs of arrows to point you to the main trail, but the problem is there's so many side trails and not enough signs. I have no idea if I'm on the main trail. This is a main trail. A little muddy, not too bad. Lots of knots and roots here. So again, not a beginner hike. You have to cross waterways, um, lots of roots, some hills. So those like the elderly with arthritis, if, you, if you're don't walk well, I can't recommend this. Of course, there's a lot of elderly who have strong endurance and can handle this. If you're a beginner hiker, you know you're a beginner hiker. And when I say beginner, I'm not meaning how much time you spent in the hobby, but what you're able to do. Cool. Just saw a squirrel run off that high. Now I have seen pictures of different uh, bridges on, on Baird's Creek, and I think a lot of them are from this trail. That's kind of cool looking. Old one maybe there, huh? Not too solid there. Chris, if you're watching this, I do recommend it for you. I think you can handle this. I think you would like it. Got to be a little adventurous, though. If you're not good with uh, directions, you have to have a time investment here because you easily can get lost with all these trails. I have a time investment, but I'm also pretty good with directions, so. <laughs> now there have been times I've been doing one of my ministry videos, walking on a new trail, and when I'm done, I have to walk back. And because I was so engaged in my ministry video I wasn't sure uh, when I got to intersections which way to take back that has happened multiple times for me
My nephew Frank would love this trail. So Frank, if you're watching, you would want to do this trail. Because I know you love hiking next to water. This might be another uh, hiking video over an hour. The last one at the state park, I put it into two uh, videos. Oh, are we going into a field prairie area? A little bit. Oh, trail here and here. So folks, I don't know if you've noticed, I have over 500 subscribers. Thanks to all of you who subscribe. And I also discovered, this is interesting, I think I hit 500 a week, to, a week and a half to two weeks ago. And then the last week, I discovered YouTube is actually promoting uh, some of my videos, particularly part two of my state park hike that was very interesting to find out wow lovely flowers here I really like these purple ones look at that so once i hit 500 youtube started promoting my again one video i see one that video, which is only a week and a half old, has already 500 views. <laughs> I wish they would have picked another video. Uh, part one was really nice. Part two is okay. I mean, it's not a bad video, but it's not definitely one of my better hiking videos. Not due to edits or me. It's just the, the, uh, the hike itself wasn't super amazing i mean there's some nice stuff to see there but definitely not what i would consider one of my better hiking videos but uh it's gotten over 500 views and that allowed a couple more people to subscribe which is cool One thing more to say about my boots. Every once in a while, you know, hear my boots will collide with each other and they make that noise. They got those little, they're not buckles, but the little things that your shoelaces go around and they'll rub on each other if my feet are too close. It is really, really humid. I would enjoy this hike more if it wasn't so humid. So there was two ways to take back there. I don't know if you saw that. I, I think I pointed it, but I didn't really speak on it. Um, one trail looked like it was going to avoid that small prairie. The other one looked like it would go into it. It did, but left right away. So that one trail went that way. This one seemed to be heading back towards the park. I just took this one. Pin cherries, maybe. I'm not going to eat them. I don't know what they are. But in the last month, we've had like three hikes now with lots of these berries. Wow, look at them all. Baird's Creek trails, all of them, are very popular. So I don't think they have to do much maintenance on this. They might be widening this, you know, to help. But with all the traffic, it's probably almost mostly self 
uh, maintained. Kind of opening in the trees here. More of these berries. towards the stream and away from the stream. Got to go to the stream. Let's go over this way. So, I could actually cross that, supposedly, with my waterproof shoes, but that's definitely taller than my shoes. So my socks and feet would get wet. Not gonna do that. I think we've left the main trail. This is quite a little narrower, less used. Oh, and here we are back to a main trail. And we have an opening prairie kind of thing over there. Maybe this will enter into it. And it does. So all kinds of posts. They got something planted here. So I don't know what this is. Plastic. They probably got trees in here maybe. I don't know. Something planted there, something planted there. I don't know what this is, folks. Kind of had the camera tilted too far up there. Well, this is obviously is not the uh, field with the obstacle course for the bikes. Although this trail looks like it's more bike ridden than hike walked. I can see some purple flowers over there. Hot in the sun. Hearing traffic noise ahead of me. Just saw a bumblebee. This will be a nice video. Don't know what that is, folks. Don't know. I like these. Now soon, if this doesn't start hitting me back, I have to think about it. There's a bee. Oh, he flew away.
just saw a chipmunk or something run away. This is heading me back. My sense of direction says I'm heading the right way. Whether this will bring me back, I don't know. Stick got me in the head. Another one of these little tiny openings. I smell uh, some kind of weed that's as a familiar smell to me, but I don't remember what it is. Might be milkweed. It is possible the battery may die. Uh, I didn't start out 100% today. I started out like at 94. If this is a long, really long video, it might. Uh, the battery might not make it. I do have extra batteries with me. I'll have to decide if I feel like switching them out. That is a very narrow path. This is taking me away. All right, we'll take it, but I really got to start working my way back. Because we have a long way back. Maybe it'll still come loop me, because we saw another trail that went this way. This maybe will loop me back. But now it's going this way again. More of this. Kind of pretty. I like the popple trees in there. Oh. So something is growing out of that. And that. I don't know what kind of leaf that is. It almost looks like an oak, but not quite. Beautiful purple flowers. All right, we got to keep going now. I think it's just a lovely uh, view there. I see a road or something in there. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's a railroad. So you can see it more there. Well, I'm glad I came here, missing out on one of the better hikes in the Green Bay area. Wow, this is really nice. I like this better than the normal, regular, excuse me, Baird's Creek Trail. Wow, this just cherry, berry tree, cherry tree, is quite big. The berries are bigger. I don't know what it is. 
okay? Don't know what it is. Starting to hear highway noise. And the audio on here is better than my ears. You may have heard it long before I did. Got one of them here. At, one po at some point, I'm going to have to turn around if this doesn't head me back. Yeah, I'm at 11.07. I'll go five minutes this way. If I don't feel it's not going to take me back, I, I got to hustle back out. We got a long way to get out. True, I have 53 minutes to get home, but I'm deep in, folks. And this is my first time here. I'm gonna look at the phone. Look at all those berries. That's grapes. This looks like wild grape, folks. Uh, I'm not certain, I'm not gonna eat it, but this is a vine. This is a vine. <laughs> To me, that's wild grapes. Um, I've never seen wild gra grapes in the wild. You know, obviously, grapes, wild grapes are in the wild. I've never seen them. Now, I've seen homes or farms uh, that neglected their own grapes, you know, and then they just were no, no longer cared for. Wow, I'm fairly certain that's wild grapes. I could be wrong, I'm not gonna eat them. <laughs> More of these testing, because I'm thinking this has something to do with testing, because I know there is a university and there used to be along another trail, the East River Trail, uh, a building that uh, had to do with testing trees so i'm thinking that might be testing trees there building uh planting trees testing them now we are getting really close to roads here If I'm getting close to the highway, I'm not going the right direction. I'm thinking I need to go that way. Two or three minutes, folks. trail coming from that way. I definitely have to be on that side of the water. really close to the railroad tr tracks. You can see them there. Ah, oh, we called these, I think, snakeweed or something like that when I was a kid. A lot of them. 
lot of them. Ninety seconds. What I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to turn the camera off when I'm backtracking. And then when I get to the area where I turn the camera on, I will turn the camera back on. And you can see that part that you did not see before, which I recorded in my ministry video. And then with the camera off, I can hustle and not worry about the camera and walk faster and concentrate on my walking more well 30 seconds the snake weed stretch <laughs> a lot of snake weed maybe the most I've ever seen in my life Fifteen seconds. As you probably tell, I am hoofing her along pretty quickly now. Yeah, and look at this. This is just taking me up to the tracks. And there's the highway. Okay, folks. Uh, more likely, well, we'll see you back where this started. Uh, where I turned on the camera in the trail i'll be back hopefully bye all right back folks um i think this is where we started the video or somewhere near here it's 11 36 i need to be leaving this park so we're gonna book her out of here okay um i just stepped in the creek to wash my shoes and i did unfortunately when i stepped in i splashed above my shoes onto my socks and water went down um so it's not a fair assessment if it's my shoes got wet but i felt water down in the bottom of my shoe and i don't know if it's because i splashed or if it soaked through um, both feet were stepped into the into the creek um so we'll see when I get home because I only splashed one foot. So if both socks are wet, then so much for it being waterproof. All right, I'm going to attempt to walk back the way I came in, which was in my ministry video. Uh, once again, especially if I'm new to a place and if I'm doing a ministry video, I might not remember <laughs> all my steps back, but we will try. We will try. Which way did I come? I'm going to go this way. Because I think it's this way. Not that way. I really need to bogey. I have the potential of not being home at noon. My wife has plans, so she needs the car. Well, the arrow's pointing this way. Looks vaguely familiar. Toppled tree, interesting, huh? That's a pretty big toppled tree. I believe that's to go right, not left. That's what the sign says. Numbers are getting higher, not smaller, which I thought was interesting. That does not concern me. Whew, I'm huffing. I really booked down that trail. I didn't live, I didn't run, except down some hills.
I'm not going to stop and make many observations because I'm in a hurry. So you'll just have to enjoy what you see with the camera shares. Another choice. I think this just is a, to avoid the steep hill. Some really nice beauty here at the beginning of the trail. Hope you're seeing it. A lot of brown because uh, overuse, uh, muddy ground, hills with no, you know, le uh, no leaves or grass, but it's still nice. I think uh, once fall comes and you lose the leaves, it might not as be as pretty here. So it was nice to get here before that happened. Again, the battery could die at any time. Right now we are recording. I'm guessing at the pace I'm going, we might be done in seven minutes. Could be sooner than that. I almost turned my ankle. There's a path down there, I'm hoping I took the right one. Ooh, I'm huffing and puffing, folks. See, that's, as I warned, in the middle of that forest, if you're time constrained, it could be an issue if you've never been here before. This is a really big, long hiking trail with many side trails. So be aware of that. I see another arrow. We're up to 32. The first number was 21 that I saw. 